Hey there folks, the Scottsdale Travel Chick, here to give you my review of the Doubletree Grand Nanaloa Hotel in Hilo, Hawaii. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the hotel, from its location, to the room types, to dining and entertainment amenities, and more. Okay, let's get started. First up, let's touch on the hotel's location and general area. The hotel is located about 10 minutes from the Hilo Airport, on the east side of the island, and about one and a half hours from the Kona Airport on the west side. The hotel is located directly on the Hilo Bay waterfront, and across from a large community park and a small golf course. There are a few other hotels nearby and a two or three places to eat, but you'll need to walk or tax yourself about one mile to get to the main downtown area. Hilo itself is a great location for visiting all the sites on the east coast of the Big Island, as well as visiting Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, which is about 45 minutes away. If you are interested in learning more about how to do an ideal day trip to the volcano, check out our top rated day trip guide. Just search Scottsdale Travel Check Volcanoes National Park Day Trip Guide. Now let's talk about the hotel itself. It has long been known as the Grand Nanaloa Hotel, but it is also part of the Hilton family and branded as a Doubletree Hotel. And in terms of branded hotels, it is the only Marriott, Hilton, Aichi, or Hyatt brand on this side of the island. It's not a big hotel. It's been around a while and the pool and grounds are not extensive. But Hilton has done a decent job of updating the common areas and the rooms. Still, I must note the hotel is beginning to show its age. More on that later. Parking is available at the hotel for free, but you have to park across the street by the golf course and then walk back. Otherwise, all the nearby parking is blocked as valet spaces and will cost you $30 per day. This is definitely a big change and quite annoying for Mercedes in the previous years. Of course, another thing everyone wants to know about Hawaii hotels are do they charge a resort fee? and what do you actually get? Unfortunately, but like most Hawaii hotels, the Grand Nanaloa does charge a $30 resort fee. As I mentioned, they've done a nice job on updating the lobby area. As you enter, you'll be greeted by a beautiful wahini. The front desk is directly ahead, along with views out across the bay. To your right is a nicely done lobby bar and outdoor patio area. Down the hall to your right is a sizable gift shop and an activity center where you can book local excursions. Okay, after all of that, let's get to the rooms. There are a total of 220 rooms, with some facing the ocean and others the park and only a few directly on the ocean front. The room types are somewhat limited. Most of the rooms are standard rooms of about 180 square feet, and some rooms have smaller suites. They have a King Lanai room as well as a junior suite ocean front room. Here is a walkthrough of one of their basic room types. And here's an example of a corner suite room. The room was nice with a couch and a separate bedroom. Shower. 
I'm not so sure about the overall design with the bathtub in the middle of the room. Kinda cool, but really gets in the way of using the bathroom. The coffee table had its better days and needs to be refinished. This is one example of many that you'll see around the resort where they could use some modernization, but they really need to either remove or replace this coffee table. It makes the room look really bad. In terms of connectivity and Wi-Fi speed, here's the Wi-Fi speed test we did. I found the speed to be just fine and really didn't lose any connection. Finally, let's get to the dining and bar options as well as other amenities that they offer at this resort. But just a quick break here just to say if you're enjoying our informative travel guides and hotel reviews, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up. It really does help. There's only one dining option on site and it's called Hula Hula's. This is where they serve breakfast as well as lunch and dinner. It's a larger place with an open roll-up garage doors onto the pool area. It's not particularly comfortable, but I would have to say at least it's casual. And they do have some live music on some evenings. Now let's talk about the amenities the Doubletree Grand and Aloha has to offer. They have only one pool and no hot tub. And honestly, the pool itself is quite small and definitely dated. But it does rain quite a bit on the Hilo side of the island, so maybe you won't be missing this much during your trip. And there is always the bay directly behind the hotel. Let's talk about the beach. As you are on the volcanic coast, you won't find too many sand beaches here. And this is true for the hotel grounds. However, you can find a couple of reasonable entry points to take some complimentary pool toys or snorkeling equipment and take a dip behind the hotel. The water is quite calm on most days. In terms of their gym, it's a reasonably good sized gym and Hilton seems to have upgraded the equipment here so you can probably get a good workout in. And as a bonus, the gym actually has a view of the ocean. If you want to do a short bike ride, they have local bike share bicycles just outside the lobby. You can rent by the hour or daily fee. Finally, let's get to that golf course I mentioned earlier. The good news is that the resort fee includes free rounds of golf at the course, which is directly across the street from the hotel. Well, there you have it. My review of the Devil Tree Grand Nanaloa in Hilo, Hawaii. But we're not done just yet, as now it's time for my Scottsdale Travel Chick score. The Grand Nanaloa is smaller and older hotel, but being in Hilo, you don't have a lot of options to choose from, especially if you're looking for a branded hotel. They have done some nice work on upgrading the lobby and some of the rooms, but they certainly need to do a little bit more. It's not a bad place, but it's just not a high-end place either, especially if you're expecting a true resort experience like others in Hawaii. Given all of this, I would give them a 7 out of 10. If we were returning to Hilo, we would probably stay here again, particularly given the alternatives in the area. Hope you enjoyed our review. Until next time, see you later.